Hey everybody, Daniel Mosnet here with Cowboy Charcoal, and let's talk a little bit about lump charcoal today. What the heck is it? What is lump charcoal? Why don't I just use briquettes all the time and not worry about it? Well, briquettes are great. Cowboy Charcoal makes a fantastic all natural briquette, but let's talk a little bit today about lump charcoal and exactly what it is. Well, this is the Cowboy brand lump charcoal that you're gonna find in the store when you go shopping for all your grilling supplies. And you'll notice that it's made here in the United States. We've got these beautiful kilns all throughout North America where we take virgin, untreated wood and we carbonize them to make lump charcoal. We make our charcoal out of oak and hickory and you can see that right there on the bag and that's really gonna give you that deep, real wood flavor and those high searing temperatures that you want when you're doing things like steaks and those quick seared meats. Now, when you get your lump charcoal package home, you're gonna wanna open it first, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find what I'm calling the left side of the bag and you're gonna wanna find this little stringy piece that's kind of hanging out open and you're just gonna pull it. You're gonna give it a simple pull all the way across and that's gonna open the top tape of the bag, very simple. No more cutting all these crazy trying to open up bags. It's very simple. You can use that to light your charcoal chimney or you can just throw it away. Now inside, inside the bag of charcoal, you're gonna find all kinds of different shapes and sizes of lump charcoal. We have this nice long piece and we have a little bit more of a short squatty piece. Okay, this piece is a little bit thicker. Now, why is there so much difference in the sizes of lump charcoal? Well, we work with the timber industry to make sure that we get the best wood that we can that's either raw wood that has come from uh, some type of specific grow or wood that's come from the furniture industry that hasn't quite made the grade to be a beautiful kitchen cabinet, but it's not treated and we can still use that and recycle it to make fantastic charcoal. Because hickory is hickory and whether it's on a cabinet or whether it's in your barbecue, it's still great for cooking. Now some of the pieces that we have are nice and flat and some are a little bit rounder. Now that's gonna give you a little bit different cook time and burn time where when you're using briquettes, you know the size of the briquette that you're using and you know just about how many briquettes you're gonna need for each cook that you have. Now if you're in one of the competitions, some of those competition cooks count out very specifically how many briquettes they're using for their cook because they know what they need and they know how hot they want their grill. With lump charcoal, it's a little bit more of an educated guess because you never quite know exactly what you're gonna find in the bag. So when I'm looking for lump charcoal, some of the things that I wanna see is I wanna see some good grains in the wood. I want the product to be a little bit light for its size. That means that we've carbonized and we've cooked out all of the volatiles, leaving you with good pure charcoal that you can use for that fantastic oak and hickory flavor in your grill. Now, when you're loading your charcoal chimney, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you use a random amount of sizes and, and just really what comes out of the bag. Take a look and make sure that you fill your charcoal chimney all the way to the top and then use a natural lighter on the bottom. We use cowboy wood wool fire starters that are just woven wood that are dipped in all natural vegetable wax. Now, you could very simply use some paper towels or some brown bags and put a little oil on it and light that under your chimney starter. But it's very important when you're using lump charcoal to use an all natural starter. You don't wanna take this fantastic product and put any kind of an accelerant or lighter fluid or anything like that because you're gonna get that chemical metallic taste and that's what you're trying to avoid by buying lump charcoal in the first place. Now, how long does lump charcoal burn? Lump charcoal will burn for as long as you want it to burn, or it can burn hot and fast for those quick sears on steaks and chops. Now, if you want to make sure that your lump charcoal, about eight to 10 pounds, can burn for 10 to 12 hours, you just need to regulate your air intake on the grill that you're using. The lower the amount of air that you're allowing into your grill, the longer your charcoal will burn. So if you have everything wide open and the top open on your grill, that lump charcoal is gonna burn really fast and it's gonna burn really hot. 
which is great for things like a New York strip or a porterhouse. If you were cooking a big pork shoulder, you're gonna to wanna to close your air intakes down quite a bit and restrict the amount of airflow in so you can make that 10 to 12 hour cook and get that nice 203 degrees on the pork shoulder so that pork just falls off and it's just juicy and fantastic. Either way, you can use lump charcoal for either one of those cooks. Now, because lump charcoal has nothing added, it's only wood, you're gonna get a lot less ash in the bottom of your grill than you would using briquettes. There's no starters, there's no fillers, there's nothing like that in lump charcoal, so you're safe to use that for any of your grilling needs. To add lump charcoal, if you need a little bit more in the middle of your cook, all you're gonna need to do is remove the food that you're cooking, open the grill, and add a few more individual pieces, just like this, to a ashed over, but still a little red ember uh, on the coals. That will catch in just about five to six minutes or so, and bring your grill right back up to the temperature that you need it. Now it's important that you don't add too much charcoal because that could either smother your fire or produce too much heat for whatever you're cooking. So just make sure you monitor, always be watching and always be looking. Lump charcoal is something that's natural. It's a little bit different in each one of the pieces as you can see. So you need to be there and you need to be present while you're cooking to make sure that you have the temperatures that you're going for. Okay, so I've used all my lump charcoal but I still have some more in the bag. How do I store it? Very simply, just take your bag of lump charcoal, fold the top. I like to use a clamp, clamp the top, and now you're set to store for your next barbecue run. So why do we clamp the top? Well, you wanna make sure since this is stored outside that no bugs or insects or things like that crawl inside the bag. And you wanna make sure that you keep this dry and away from any water sources and away from any ignition sources. Don't store it with any accelerants. Don't store it near the water heater. Don't store it near any of those areas where, there might be, where it might be flammable. If you keep this in a dry, dark place, your charcoal will be ready for the next time you wanna use it. Now remember, lump charcoal is all natural and it's gonna burn a lot hotter than regular briquettes. So make sure that when you're using lump charcoal for things like steaks and quick cooks, that you have a two zone fire open. You have one area of the fire where you have a lot of concentrated lump charcoal, so you have a lot of heat in one column, and you have a portion of your grill that has no charcoal underneath, so you can move your food back and forth to make sure you don't burn the outside and not yet cook the inside. So make sure you have a two-zone fire when you're cooking with lump charcoal. This is an excellent product for things like Kamado grills, kettle-style grills, and cookers like a Hasty Bake like I have behind me. Lump charcoal is the perfect product for you to use in your backyard and really great for any type of grill that you have. I'm Daniel Mosnet. This was How to Cook with Lump Charcoal. And until next week, make sure you subscribe to our video playlist. And as always, keep cooking with cowboys.